Hello, everybody, through. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea on this beautiful and amazing Sunday. I hope that you are getting all the relaxation that you needed during this weekend because we have, like, this is the, this is, I mean, next week is what? Holidays weekend, right? I mean, week. It's like Christmas is around the corner. I mean, many of you are celebrating hanukkah already uh but like anyways like if we have parties we have events like all of this week is going to be crazy so i'm hoping that you are getting your last like moments of relaxation today you know like don't do much you do you and just be happy all right i want to welcome every single one of you guys if you are new here welcome to the verbally troop we have a lot of fun we keep it real we spill the tea we do it all over here, Bravo Pop Culture Royals, wherever is big and happening, we talk about it. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and uh, hit the notification bell, guys. Um, remember, we have like three more days before the announcement of the giveaway. So, girl, if you want to win the bouquet of flowers of Rose Forever, you know what to do. Go to my Instagram, look for the official post and you have to follow me and rose forever of course we subscribe to my youtube channel and tag two more people on the official post and you are in don't sleep on it okay you know i have been promoting rose forever for a very long time we love it over here and honestly it's one of those things that are like one of those brands that are beautiful and make your home even more beautiful okay so get into it don't sleep on it and uh, because you know it's the holidays remember if you want a personalized message from me now you can book me through cameo i love doing cameos and it is a great way to support my channel and you get something amazing in return okay the, the links for everything are on the description below all right guys so it is time to talk about this mess because we need to talk of real housewife ultimate girl story but not the one that is happening right now mm -mm -mm. we need to talk about the next one morocco marrakesh what is gonna happen girl a lot of like talking town you know happened during this weekend when it comes to the next uh is um the next season of ultimate girl story because at BravoCon, it was promised by Andy Cohen and by many people, you know, that the season will be airing, you know. Everyone is very excited to watch it. Even with all of the, you know, things that allegedly happened between Brandy Glanville and Caroline Manso, still people want to watch because of the group of ladies you know i mean there were another six ladies in that group that people really wanted to reconnect alex mccord gretchen rosie vicky gumbelson you know i mean uh fate um i think phaedra parks was there even like it was like a lot of like nice people so this this was supposed to be another good trip you know and now all because of caroline manso like is not gonna be happening well the streets were rumbling this weekend saying again that there was a very big chance that we will not be seeing the next season and that peacock is just going to like shove the project and basically like it never exists but you guys i feel that peacock needs to hear the fans because everyone is asking for it all of the housewives except for caroline you know are on brandy's team like everyone is like no you know like you have to show it you have to put it out there you have to let us make that decision now i don't know if there is like a, a legal situation behind i haven't hear of actual um you know um legal situations happening for that season we know that marco the 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 concierge or the butler for season two was kind of is is like a suing bravo or peacock or whatever because of you know brandy you know doing the thing to the church and all of that but that's like another season that has nothing to do with this show with this part right here so i don't know but the thing is like everyone is really eager to watch that show and i feel that if it doesn't air 
is literally only because of Caroline Manso and people will not forgive her for this, you know? It's like, let people choose. I mean, she she was so vocal into everything that happened, you know, and to want it to bury like Brandy and, you know, and the whole thing, then let the people choose and see if they are going to be on your team. And I feel that the problem is that Caroline knows that a lot of people will not be on her team. Just like the other housewife said, nothing happened. What is her problem? You know, I don't know. But one person that is actually, of course, extremely annoyed by the whole situation is Miss Brandy Glanville. And she is mentioning it all on Twitter, well, on X, you know, uh, saying that she's tired of being blamed, that she's tired of, you know, people talking shit of what didn't happen, you know, and that she's tired of being used by producers over and over and over. Okay, I have a couple things to say over here, but I'm, we're going to read first some of the posts that Brandy did. Uh, one says, I am completely innocent. The producers ask you to do something and then you get in trouble for it. The producers need to follow the rules. And even though I may like some of these producers, I am not taking them off for them. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's time to fight back. The truth always come out. I am not going down just because people see me as an easy pile on at the moment. All of the other women vouch for me. It's interesting to see who Marco's lawyer is. Check it out. These producers need to be held accountable. Producers may not shove the alcohol down our throats, but they sure do encourage it, even in Morocco, during the day where it's illegal to drink. Our butler in Morocco was told to flirt with me specifically. I asked him if he had a girlfriend, and he said yes. And I told him not to do it, and I did, and I did not participate. He was lovely. I didn't want his life ruined. I am completely innocent. The producers ask you to do something, and then you get in trouble for it. Um. Okay. So again, I feel that this is a route that Brandy should not be taking. Okay. Look, I. I don't know if she doesn't read the comments or really what is going on because initially when the news broke, a lot of people were anti-Brandy because, you know, Brandy has always been Brandy. But as the time has gone on, a lot of people, like almost everyone is actually on team Brandy and anti-Caroline Manso, you know? So it's like, girl, I mean, read the room. Second of all, when it comes to the producers, I believe that, yeah, I mean, the produ the job of a producer is in the name is to produce situations you know what do you think is going to happen in a reality show you know this is not about oh go and do whatever you want and if it's good then we air it no situations need to be produced all the time i mean i think uh, by now and after so many years on reality tv that is very obvious you know what i mean so uh, what I'm thinking is like blaming production or trying to air the truth about production. At the end of the day, the one who is making the actions is Brandy herself or the other housewife or whoever is on the other end. You know, that's why, for example, when it comes to the whole Bethany uh, Franco situation, I'm like, no, I mean, no one is taking advantage of anyone. You know, I mean, you do what you need to do. Now, if you want to be a Thursday housewife who wants to do the most on camera, you know, or who was just so worried about the coins that doesn't care about backstabbing people and doing all of that, that's on you, baby girl, because you you cannot be that dumb and not understand that you are on a national and an international platform. You know what I mean? So I'm like, Brandy, we are on your side. Work with us because now she's going to go against the network or against the producers is not going to work for her. What we need to fight is all of us fight together. So Peacock actually brings the show and we can make a judgment for ourselves. But what I'm thinking is that maybe she's being told that it's not going to happen. And I don't know if she's going to get paid if it doesn't air or I don't know how really how, how that is going to work, you know, but something must be going on, you know, in order for her to be like all of this. 
and it is what it is you know yes producers might tell this guy to flirt with you well it's up to you if you want to flirt back or not we're literally seeing it right now on this ultimate girls trip you know like like all of these young people trying to flirt with all of these uh, women and all of them are like bitch they're like 20 like we're not gonna flirt with them you make the decision you know so you cannot blame the producers because that's their job is to produce a show i don't know i am very i don't know the only thing that i do know is that i need that show to air and i think all of us will just like join together i like tag peacock all the time on twitter on instagram on tiktok everywhere and be like air ultimate girls through morocco air ultimate girls through morocco like period okay I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this mess. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife, Ultimate Girls Trip, or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.